the arts and young people, they activate, they connect, they resonate. What does high quality look like in out of school time arts programs? And what does it take to engage urban low income youth in these programs, given that they face many obstacles and have many options for how to spend their free time? Just because they're not investing money, they're really investing something that's more valuable than money, which is their time. To answer these questions, the Wallace Foundation interviewed experts, including urban youth and their friends and families, as well as practitioners, researchers, and the staffs of some of the nation's best youth development arts programs. We have some formal research and a lot of observation and a lot of wisdom that comes out of programs that are doing it really well. The comprehensive research identified 10 principles for effective, high-quality programs. Something to say, success principles for after-school arts programs from urban youth and other experts is a new report that details this research. It illustrates how these 10 success principles can be used to engage tweens and teens in youth development arts programs. We're gonna work towards being excellent at something. We're gonna put all of ourselves into it and work hard to do it, and we're gonna have fun while we do it, and that happens. They don't wanna just play basketball. They wanna make a difference. They wanna help other people. They have enormous energy and capacity. You can download the full Something to Say report and watch videos of exemplary organizations and interviews with practitioners and researchers by visiting wallacefoundation.org. There are elements of programs that really can be learned from and taken and shared.